beehives on the roof here. And that, this is the honey that they made. I like that one. I like that one the most. I, I don't like that one. It is great. The honeybees are very cool. In our first big year, we started beekeeping on four different rooftops, two art museums, and two golf courses. In the springtime, one of our first tasks is to check on the colonies to see if they did make it through the winter. Oh, and this is nice and heavy. Yes. Oh, yay. Okay. Here's just a quick peek. Lots of girls. Good. Yay, they're nice and strong. So they look really good. When we posted it on our social media, the students were so excited to have bees. Got it? Okay. Just a wonderful way to feel like you're making a contribution. All of you now live here. There has to be a team on the ground within the organization doing an awful lot of work getting permission and answering a lot of questions as far as what it's going to look like to have bees on the rooftop, how it's going to impact the employees of the organization. And it doesn't take long for those bees to win people over and for people to really become invested in the health of the bees. People have been keeping bees on rooftop, especially in Europe and notably in New York City, for just a very, very long time. So rooftop beekeeping is very popular. One of the biggest advantages to rooftop beekeeping is that the bees really aren't in anybody's way. So when they fly out to get food, there aren't going to be any pedestrians in their flight path because they're already up high. Girls, you're doing an excellent job. Excellent job. Way to represent the University of Minnesota. Yep. What I love about bees is just to feel such a connection to the natural world when I'm with them. Being able to just watch the magic that they do. Every hive is different to promote a good healthy environment and a good green environment was a big motivating factor for the MIA to have bees on our roof. And it's the best thing I've ever reluctantly been pulled into that I've ever done. I've gotten over the bees are going to kill me part of it. Okay, who's having fun? I think there's some real advantages to rooftop beekeeping. For one thing, it uses space that's not otherwise being used. I think it is definitely a way to make up for some of that habitat loss. We're excited to see how these bees do in the future, and our sample size is increasing significantly, so we're going to be able to get some good data. And then with that information, we can direct research and be able to compare how they're doing on rooftops versus how they're doing in backyards. When you're in your garden and you see bees feeding on certain plants, it just makes you want to do more of it. And it makes you really want to encourage their health. And that's what we're seeing the public want to do too. Jar of the year, so it's pretty exciting. There it is. I'm gonna go. Wow.